hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be very interesting as it's a requested tutorial that uh, how to show white detailing over white base or like using the white color for your lehengas so stay with me for the rest of the video watch it till end as i tell you a few important tricks and tips which you can use to show lots of white detailings and to show white fabrics in a very beautiful manner so very quickly i'll tell you about few of the white mediums which you can use in your illustrations now it's not necessary to use all of this together you can use either of this or like make a a combination of the any two mediums such as a watercolor shade or uh, the white paint from your poster color gel pens even your pencil colors and uh, guys you can use the gray shade instead of white also and uh, shades like from your acrylic color and uh, even like your uh, any soft pastels crayons anything in white can be very much uh, effective but uh, to show the highlights of the white we need to have a proper base so here you can see guys my paper is already white so i'll try to create a base color in something like a contrasting color over which i will give my white details so here you can take any medium like a very light shade such as watercolor wash or maybe something uh, like alcohol markers also to create a very subtle and uh, soft base so here i will use my watercolor only you can see the color was very diluted and this i will spread all over the base so guys for the picture i have taken inspiration from lots of different uh, sources actually you can understand little bit from the posture and the overall look of the illustration that i was inspired from sabbe sachi look mostly uh, for the lehenga style but for the body and the border work i took reference from few of the other pictures i will be sharing the links in the description box guys you can go and check it out and uh, here guys you can see i am doing the base right now it might look like it's getting little darker but uh, once we start with the detailing then you will understand how the white is like uh, standing out over the base color also for the base color guys you can do your experimentation with lots of different wash you can simply dilute your black color to create a very light shade uh, kind of grayish shade and do it in the base and over it you can do the detailing with any white medium and trust me your white highlights will really stand out so here you can see my body is done i will go to the border and here also i will use watercolor for doing the base i will create a little golden kind of effect so at this point of time guys you just concentrate on doing your base color in a very subtle manner you can use shades like a gray like this kind of ivory or off white or any shade of pastel you can just dilute your colors or use any light shade from your markers and uh, after this guys we will move to the detailing portion so here i will just increase the shade you can see i'm working on the border here comes the interesting part where we move with the detailing so at this point of time guys you can use white gel pen 
or you can use like this acrylic colors poster colors even your watercolors but i think watercolor may be little bit uh, less saturated or it might not give you very solid look so i can recommend either you use acrylic color white or poster color white so you can see that uh, my color is not very diluted i will try to use most of the solid color you can use little bit white if needed but don't make it very diluted otherwise your color will start like getting little faded so try to use most of the solid work and guys the magic here is using little black around the sides of your white highlights so this way our white details will be more into the focus and you can understand all the details of your white in a better manner this technique you can use in any kind of white embroidery look or like you are making white chicken curry look the shadow work and uh, here guys you can see that beautifully the white it's starting to get more into the focus and we can understand the pattern of the white now this is little time consuming but trust the process and uh, you will be satisfied with the whole look the more you put your hard work into it it's going to look amazing at the end so don't worry so much about the details and you can be comfortable with your own medium guys if you want to use white gel pen you can definitely use that but uh, i prefer using a uh, detailing brush because i get a better grip with detailing brush so i have used my detailing brush but if you are not comfortable with brushes you can definitely use white gel pen it will just work in the same manner but uh, again it depends on the opacity that uh, which brand of gel pen you are using because sometimes this gel pen tends to get little faded so you can always do your experiments into smaller sections guys like smaller swatches you are making you don't need to do it on the illustration at the first hand you can always do it in smaller swatches and try out different combinations just like the base color you can try it out with different base colors and see which one is working the best for you so guys here you can see that my detailing is done i have just used the white poster color and a little bit shading around the sides with very light wash of the black diluted color that you can take from watercolor shade also for the dupatta again if you want to show a white fabric dupatta like a net dupatta you can dilute mixture of white and black that is gray shade and dilute the color well and do that at the base of the net dupatta over it we will give some highlights like you can use directly the white poster color or a pencil color that is in white shade to show little white strokes now that color will be visible over your gray base so guys this way you can take the gray shade as a helping color to show your white highlights effectively so guys you can see i'm working with my gray shade and in between you can play around with the shading of the gray that is sometimes you can keep it very diluted that for the base and over it you can increase the amount of black and give some folds and uh, this way you can give that nice effect of the dupatta here in a very sheer manner for the detailing sections under the dupatta it will be little blurry because of the dupatta effect so there you can just randomly doodle some abstract kind of effect because that we have to show in a very blurry manner guys so you can see that portion which is below the dupatta will be kind of little hazy and there you don't need to make your details in a very proper manner you can just randomly doodle and show that effect of the details below the dupatta you can change your brush in between like here you can see i'm using a detailing brush at this point because i want to create very fine strokes of the folds or you can see the detailings so you can use with different sizes of the brush like use a bigger brush for doing the base and then switch to a more detailing brush 
for doing the details and this way guys at the end i'm using the pure white color to give the final folds coming to the border detailing i will be using different shades from my brown color family like the burnt sienna burnt umber and uh, using little black also and here guys i'll keep it very simple you can use mediums like gel pens any kind of detailing pens and uh, like your uh, golden color gel pen silver color gel pen all these mediums for doing the border detailing but here i will purely stick to my watercolor and i will try to create little contrasting shade like you can see my base color is kind of more towards the yellowish side but uh, for the border i'm creating little brown highlights so it will give me a very nice effect of a zari work or like a brocade work border and i will also use little white color here so mixture of this white ivory and golden will create a very nice color palette so you guys do try this out and share your work with me you can tag me on instagram you can see the instagram handle and use the hashtag art studio by shabani so that all the works are visible under the hashtag at the end i will take my golden color gel pen and create little of the golden highlight look suppose as the zari work suppose there is any kind of small zari embroidery effect between the embroideries so for that you can use your gel pen and uh, at the finishing you can use little more of the shading around the folds but i will suggest that you don't overdo with the shading because here we have to keep it very subtle very minimalistic and you can see the overall look here guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe you can comment below what other videos you would want to see till then keep illustrating take care bye bye